that 4K fucking recording and shit. 4K my ass, it'd be able to pick that shit up. Maybe it's because it's just trying to pick up any kind of light, you know. Anyway, it's that white boy loaded. It's about, let's see. Can I get that? Motherfucker, can it well, let me drag the fucking screen down or something? It's 2.39 in the morning. And I, what the hell is that? Airplane. I'm on my way. Oh, look, I can really see you over right now. I don't know how we can see it from here, but, you know. Barely. Barely see it. What the fuck? Okay, people. I don't know. You can see that. I don't even know if I can fucking see that. Okay. Right there. I mean, that dude is fucking going ape shit. He is blinking all the colors in the spectrum. I don't think that's a fucking star. I mean, there's no way in hell. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. I'm try to get all the way up on him. Hang on, hang on, people. Hang on, hang on. I know I'm fucking moving around and shit an awful lot, but let me try this. Let's see. Right above the tip of my laser. Oh, there he is, right there. Yeah, let's let's try to get a good stable picture of him. Look at him. That dude is going ape shit. His fucking glasses are starting to fog up. Damn it. Right there, see him? Try to hit him with it. Oh. Damn it. Stupid glasses. Okay. Okay, my old lady keeps texting me. I'm letting her go out with her friends tonight and damn it. Uh, stupid glasses. I see I'm starting to perforate a little bit and my shit's fogging up. Why is my shit fogging up? I'm sorry people. I mean this is just downright ridiculous. I should get them fucking no fog lenses or something. Where's he at? Where's it? Let's see if we can get him back in the frame. Oh there he is right there. Let's try to get him centered. There we go. Look at him though people. He is going ape shit. Now he's stationary, so I mean, it tells me it's a star. But, I mean, now I know why they say twinkle, twinkle, little star, you know? And that motherfucker is really far. But that's, uh, that's the constellation Orion. And you can see Orion's belt. As I come out on the back side of this tree over here. You know, I've always loved, I've always been fascinated with that constellation. I don't know why, I'm just really, really drawn to it. You know? I mean, look at, let this car go by. But look at, I don't know how well you can see it, because it's stupid ambient light. But one, two, three. There's the belt. There's one of the feet. There's that. There's that. You go up to here. You get his arms. His head. The other arm. That guy right there is going eight shit. He's bananas tonight. And this one down here, he's he's off. He's fucking getting it too, you know. See fucking lens flares and shit. Fucking lights. You know, this is why the Earth is the way it is. 
Yeah, it helps people and, you know, see at night. But, you know, if there's certain time of night, maybe they should just cut them motherfuckers off. Because you want to know who's paying for that electricity? <clears throat> Me. My old lady. Actual fucking taxpayers, you know? Oh yeah, by the way, people, I'm a taxpayer again. No longer Mr. Mom in it. Got me a job making $15 an hour. Building barrel warehouses. Or wait, let me let me let me rephrase that. Barrel or whiskey aging warehouses. There we go. You know what? I don't know what the hell they call them. To be honest with you, I don't. But I know that's where they store the barrels for the whiskey or of whiskey to age and none other than Kentucky's own Jim Beam. I'm not working directly for them. I'm working through a tip agency who is in cahoots with a construction company who is building these warehouses. And the one we just finished framing, all the framework, holds, from what I understand, 56,000 barrels of whiskey. Can you imagine? I mean, I guess the first one they roll in there would be the first one they roll out because that one's technically aged longer than the rest. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's going to be a certain section for select whiskeys like apple flavored or Jim Beam honey or, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Man. I don't know what all, you know, flavors or um, proofs or, you know, whatever they'll have in there. But I do know that my hand, you know, my sweat and blood and I'm not going to say tears, but I didn't cry on sight, but afterwards, <laughs> when I went home, my everything hurt. <laughs> No, nah, I didn't cry, people. I'm a man. I'm tough. But as sore as I am, it's like the more beat down you are, the more better you feel, the more accomplishment you feel. Because that's literally a hard day's work. You know how people say, oh, my husband came home yesterday after a hard day's work. Where does he work? Oh, he works in a office building. So he works in a cubicle? Yeah. So he sits down and punches away at a keyboard all day or picks up a phone and talks to people? Yeah. But then he didn't have a hard day's work. He may have had a stressful day's work. But the guy did no strenuous activity except for standing up and sitting back down. <laughs> he may have worked his brain an awful lot, but, you know, I don't think he worked no muscles. So, to those people, I say, I'm going to touch his Texan again. It will not let me do talk to text. Not yet. A L U. All right, there we go. Dang. She worries. I love her. 
And she wants to get some of her, you know, get some good good tonight. She's trying to get that good good. She out with a friend, getting a little tipsy, getting a little frisky. She's going to come home and play with a kibasa. <laughs> and... I might eat me some Dutch apple pie if you catch my drift. Because a real man to eat a woman's pussy. You know what? I don't know if YouTube's going to allow that. I did kind of uh, muffle it when I said it. So it may or may not. That may get flagged. I don't know. I'll find out when I go to upload it. And I'm already at 10 minutes, 55 seconds. And I don't know, you know, with their time constrictions and how this is going to go. But, I thought I might document my journey from my house to Circle K. Even though technically I didn't start recording until I noticed how bright and magnificent Orion's belt is tonight. And it's in the uh, eastern sky at this time, right? Right now. You know? And uh, I'm actually in my pajamas, people. <laughs> I got my pajama pants on and my long sleeve shirt I sleep in. You know, I don't, I don't, I run hot if I cover up. But if I wear pajama pants and a long sleeve shirt, I don't have to cover up and I'm fine throughout the whole night. I don't get too hot, I don't get too cold. It's actually a bad thing because then I get too complacent and I sleep in one position the whole night. Oh, well. It's the end of this video, she's calling. <laughs>